Hi guys! Today is a new episode of Cake Basics. It's been quite a while, but um, I will try to make these more often. And today's um, tutorial is going to be on a really simple ombre look for your cake. This is something you can do with any color. You can decorate it afterwards with a drip or with some sprinkles, with some piping. But I just want to show you how you can achieve this look really easy. So let's get started. I have my cake chilling, so I've coated it with buttercream and now I'm just gonna prepare the rest of the buttercream, which I have divided into three parts. You could also divide it into four to five parts so you can make um, more colors to make a smoother ombre. I'm just gonna use three different shades. One is gonna stay white and the other two I'm gonna color. Choose the color of your choice and then make one dark and I'm just gonna work it in. So and then once you've worked that in you want to take uh, a teaspoon uh, to another batch of your buttercream and then mix it in. So basically if you would be making more um, colors, so more than just the three, you would do the same thing but just add a little then a little less than that and so on to get the different colors different shades and um, then i have my cake here as i said i have a coat of buttercream already so you just need this kind of um mine is a little more than a crumb coat so that the cake is well covered with the buttercream and you want to chill it until it's cold to touch before you continue with the ombre deco and then it's really your choice i'm gonna start with the darker one first so you could go light to dark or dark to light so there are a few ways of doing this i'm doing a simple spatula method what you could do is to fill the icing or the buttercream in to a piping bag and just pipe it but i want only a small layer or a thin layer of the buttercream on the cake. So I'm just gonna add using a spatula. And I'm doing it like this, so not like this at the moment because I'm using the spatula as well for kind of measuring the buttercream. So I'm gonna add almost to these kind of lines of this dark one first. So then we have the first layer done and before I'm gonna go and um, add the second layer I'm just gonna run my spatula here to kind of scrape off some excess just a little and then we are going to start adding the second color and you can have it overlap a little bit and then let's make the second line so it doesn't have to be exactly the same just so that you have kind of almost the same amount of both so and then again the same thing as we did with the darker one we just want to first kind of scrape off the excess here as well. 
just a little so not too much what I'm doing this is to kind of have a little bit left over of the each of each color so now um, what you could do is to make those a lighter tone of the color that you're using or just keep this white uh, originally I was planning to keep it white but I think I'm gonna use again a teaspoon but now of my lighter icing soda icing that I used last this one I added that to the white and I'm just gonna give it a short mix and then that's what I'm gonna use for the last layer so as I said it's really up to you you could also just keep it white um, colored mine a little bit and now I'm just gonna fill the space here with that last color that I have and then the same thing here as well just carefully removing the excess shortly And so then what you have is a um, coverage of the buttercream and we just need to get it smooth now. For that we are going to use the scraper and you just want to go around a couple of times to get a smooth finish. And then I'm not gonna go too much into detail on this. You can uh, have a look at my other video, which explains it a little bit more in detail. But um, once you've done that, so you've smoothened the sides and you notice this kind of holes um, here and there, those need to be filled. So for that, we need the leftover buttercream and then just go around and fill these in. So the best thing it to do at this point is to kind of fill every color in before you smoothen again. So here a little. And you might need a couple goes before you get it all nice and smooth. And then you just want to smoothen the top. Um, I'm not gonna go much into detail here, so I'm just gonna link the other video for you if you want to have a look at that in more detail. But you're just using your offset spatula and going around here carefully cleaning the spatula every time after you've smoothened the edge. And I'm not going to uh, worry about the side here too much so I'm not gonna blend the colors or anything because I'm gonna do some piping there as well but in between you want to chill the cake again remove it to your serving plate and then you can do the piping and then I have the leftover buttercream which I'm just gonna mix so if you have a lot of leftover buttercream what you could do is to make um, the piping also with different colors but because i don't have that much leftover i'm just gonna combine all of the buttercream and then just mix it in until the color is well combined but as i said you could just make it with different colors and then this is optional so you could also do a drip and then decorate with some piping or just do a drip or decorate with a little bit of sprinkles here i'm gonna decorate with the rest of my buttercream and i fold it into a piping tip or into a piping bag with a piping tip of my choice and now i'm just gonna do a little piping here and this is why i said not to worry too much about the edge because you can just decorate that and that's how you make a simple ombre look on your cake
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope um, you learned something new. As I mentioned in the tutorial itself, I'm not sharing the buttercream recipe here or um, how you cover the cake, but I have tutorials on that so I'm going to link those for you here so you can have a look at those if you want a little bit more in detail information. If you like this kind of tutorials, this kind of um, simple cake decorating tutorials, don't forget that thumbs up for support. So also know and then I will be planning more of these in the future. Also if you're new to my channel then you can subscribe right now and if you tap the bell you won't miss any of my new recipes and cake basic tutorials. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye until next time.